everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Chara and here is another video for those that who don't know me yet or are new to my channel hi my name is Chara Bell and I make or create fashion related videos just for you guys and in today's video last week I've been grinding I've been thriving I've been stressed because I've been doing a lot of DIY projects <sighs> some were a failure but others like these two at the back are victorious just like me but anyways so in today's video again I'm going to talk about how I make these things kind of like a tutorial but not actually supposedly I was thinking that this video should be a voiceover like to get that really tutorial feel like what other DIY youtubers do but I kind of had a little bit some issues and I feel like me being here my presence being here would be much more better and much more well explained from the things that had happened because these two girl did they, they this video did not take at least one to two days okay this video took me at least four days and this is the fourth day okay I just finished this one but of course we're going to talk about that at the last video to save the best for last for our first revamp we have this aqua turquoise teal whatever you want to call it sweater the first thing you do is measure your desired length and in measuring I use my favorite crop top as reference. Then we cut 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 and we snip 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 then throw the toxic people in your life. Also make sure to leave at least one inch so that you have room when you stitch the edges. Then turn the top inside out and fold the edges nicely and just pin it. Although if you don't have pins, you can use an iron, but since my sweater is thick, I had to pin it. And because I love my subscribers and viewers, you then have the privilege to watch me stitch my sweater by hand. Because your girl is broke. Mm, yes, yes, stitch them, Tara. Yes, yes. But if you have a sewing machine, be my guest, use it, girl. You have a blessing and you better use it. The garter that I'll be using is this thick black one. And it was actually too thick for the top, so I decided to cut it in half. And I also saw this technique where YouTubers use safety pins to insert the garter better or easily just to um, smoothen things as you can see i didn't stitch the top fully i left little um, entrances for the garter I thought things would be easier at this point, but I had troubles in inserting the garter. The safety pin was detached from the garter and the garter frayed, and so I redid it off cam using a bigger safety pin and it did the job. After all that, we now get to stitch the garter together, and after stitching, you just stitch again the supposed entrance of the garter, and then snip from the final thread, and you're done, and you're going to slay, boo.
should I say to cinched sweater? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Kuya Glenn. He's actually a church mate, pero nasa branch siya ng Marcos Highway. And in our Burkotong teal sweater, because it's, it's a teal sweater. Like, who doesn't want a teal sweater? So thank you so much, Kuya Glenn. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're not. But still, thank you. Like I'm in love with this. Originally, I decided it was supposed to be cropped, but I kind of like the singe um, trend thing. So the results are what I love, but it's not actually what I envisioned because yun na sa isipan ko is like legit na sumakto siya sa akin and makikita mo pa rin yung garter. Pero um, having this result is kind of still pretty cute. I mean, I love it because I am the mother of this child. And that I feel like my dahilan kung bakit this is the result of what I did. Because what I like is I'm not much of a, like, a skin type person. I don't like showing that much skin. The only skin that I can bear for you guys to see, like, in, at the public, in the public, is that yung, yung like, konting chan, konting chan ko lang, and then the shoulder thing. Yes, that's, that, that's pretty much it, what I can show you guys. <sighs> but, yun, kasi once, siguro, if I, like, freaking crop this a lot, it won't have that much personality. So, I'm still happy with the results, even though it's not in my vision, you know, sometimes, or every time. God's plan is much more better, so I'm not gonna complain. No, 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 I'm not gonna be that person. And the second one is that I'm going to make a dress, a two-piece, like to give it more attitude and to like modernize it um, in general. But, failure. I am a failure. The decisions were poor. The talent was poor. I am not a scientist. I am literally just want to cry right now. Because first of all, that freaking dress was a gift. And I thought if I would make it a two-piece, it would be more wearable because I would modernize it like to get my shape and all turned into a bra. Like, every time na tataas ko yung kamay ko, like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Chara bells! Doing doings! It's showing! <laughs> ano pinag usapan natin? Um, would, like, give it some more personality, make it more wearable, and that I would give it justice. That's how much I believed in my talent. <sighs> when you know that you're talented, and then you're not, you just don't know the pain, okay? You don't know the pain. I want to like show you guys because I filmed everything, okay? I filmed my failure. I filmed my life in tragedy. But, syempre nga, isa sa moto ko sa buhay, walang bakas na may iwan. So, to not hurt the feeling of the person na nag-gift sa akin nun, was an epic fail. The dress is dead now. For our final revamp, we have this dusted, crusted, busted old mirror that my mom found while she was cleaning the house and it's actually from a cabinet my cousin used to have and I saw a lot of potential and decided to charify it. My plan for this mirror is to first clean it. <laughs> and as I was cleaning, I noticed dirt falling from inside the mirror, and so I opened the back. The people who made the mirror used very small nails, and it was not that difficult to remove because of the rust. And I just went really gentle in trying to detach the backboard because if it'll break, I don't have anything. That was my 
natira pa ng spider dito. <laughs> oh my god! Grabe naman siya. <laughs> And again, I was planning to keep the wallpaper just to make things less harder, but no! I decided to torture myself and peel off the wallpaper for almost two hours or just an hour maybe, but still. Now that she's naked, yes, it's revealed to this cork-like material, but Loki worried now that the spray paint won't work anymore. I actually don't want to keep the handle thing, but it was just too difficult to remove or something like that, and so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it and just like have a portable mirror. That's a kind of cute idea. We are now at the fun part, painting the mirror. Yay! Yes, go Chara, you're so awesome. Don't forget to subscribe, woo! As I was spray painting, I quickly noticed that the paint was not sticking, but more like it was being absorbed by the wood itself. As you can see, it low-key looks cute, it gives you that rustic kind of feel, but it wasn't what I was going for, it doesn't match the aesthetic of my room. So as a solution, I used the Creation by Valiant acrylic paint, cause we don't have heavy paint. As you can see, the frame is now solid white, took me about two coats. If you're working on a cork-like material such as this, which you most likely won't, I suggest on using heavy paint to save money and time because it, this is one of the reasons why it took a really long time in making or revamping this mirror. For the flowers that I'll be painting, I'm going to use the Reeves acrylic color palette. Color pa makeup. <laughs> I just don't know, pero I really just envisioned this revamp mirror thing to have flowers on it. But hindi siya yung sobrang detalyad ng flowers, just simple cartoony ones, you know, to get that 90s vibe. Because I describe, or for me lang in my opinion, that my room is actually a 90s teen bedroom kind of vibe. So yeah. And sigurado ako, the next decisions that I'll be making para sa revamp na to, it's going to be questionable, but I totally understand you guys if you're feeling that way right now. I'm just this random girl who likes random things and like random designs. Putting random things on mirror frames. Okay, you know, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... Yes. As I was painting, I really find it therapeutic and I'm actually watching Freddie My Love, she's a fashion YouTuber, which 
I so love so you guys better check her out because her style is really dope really feminine and girly and very pink but it's really cute and actually while I was waiting for the white paint to dry like before all this happened I actually paint painted well painted I actually printed out stickers because I couldn't find or get or buy any stickers from the outside world because of quarantine so yeah these stickers i'll be sticking again on the mirror and again questionable but i just think that adding random stickers or not random like stickers that reflect your personality um just adds a little bit of sentimental thing on the mirror or more like an attitude more personality on the mirror or or like more you on the mirror basta gets no <laughs> okay i know it's going to be questionable but i really love the end result so i hope you guys too Shh, okay okay quiet on the set people we are now going to assemble our mirror the himik na ba Okay, are you paying attention? Are you watching? Okay, okay. So for our final step in this mirror revamp is putting or arranging the stickers in an aesthetic way and my favorite sticker is actually y'all need Jesus sticker because some actually think it's a joke, it's a meme, it's an expression but for me, girl, you, you know it's the truth like y'all need Jesus. so vintage it was so 90s and i fell in love with it pero 
bigla ko na-realize na if you can see the head or the shape of the frame or the design of the frame, it's very, it looks very like elegant and feminine. So, feeling ko hindi mag-work yung plano na yun dito. Like, I wouldn't give justice to um, the frame thing. So, I scratched that plan. And then, I turned into like, puro, like full feel na lang siya. And then, I'm just going to put stickers on it. Like, simple, plain lang siya na teal frame. And then, I'm just going to put the, some stickers, some butterfly stickers. Like, para siyang, ano siya, parang teen 90s bedroom mirror na kung saan maraming nakolik na stickers throughout his or her childhood. That is the story that I was planning or what I plan to do for this mirror. But of course, since it's quarantine, because of the lack of materials, I have to make adjustments to my original plan. So, yung lumabas yung family ko kasi hindi ako pwedeng lumabas ng bahay, hindi ako pwedeng sumama. Um, Sabi ko sa mom ko na bili siya. Binigyan ko pa siya, sinendan ko pa siya ng color palette. Kung anong color para sure na spray paint na bibilhin nila. Pero, syempre nga, medyo rare yung color na yun. It's not always there on the shelves. So, backup plan is this white. And I decided to just paint flowers on it. So, yes. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's kind of like a mix of Victorian feel, a very like girly feel, and then um, it's like a girly feel, and then there's just this random girl that, uh, you know what, I have no idea. So yeah, so sinabi ko na Victorian style siya because of this thing right here. I'm just gonna give a close up because of this, because I love this, and yung edges niya. Actually, matagal ko na siyang nabili. Matagal ko na tong nabili, like, siguro, like, four years ago or five years ago. And then, I couldn't bear to use it kasi nga, I don't want to use it sa mga, like, projects ko sa school. Kasi hindi mo babalik yung projects ko sa school. Kasi nga, they're all pretty. And when they're all pretty, they're all exhibited. Anyways, um... Yeah, and I didn't not want to use it for a project. I want to like use it for something na like very it's like a very <laughs> hindi ko ma explain. <laughs> hindi ko ma explain. But yun, I wanted to use it in a way na it's for me and I feel like this is the time. But I have my perfect timing, so feeling good this is the time to use this. And I'm really happy with it. How this mirror turned out. And then sa likuran niya, inano ko lang siya. Nilagyan ko ng um, wallpaper kasi nga sa lack of materials. You're so gorgeous. I know that some of you would think that you would have done something differently when it comes to this kind of mirror and that's totally fine with me. Ashley, my sister, don't like the design so that's okay because it's my mirror and it's, it's my style so I'm totally happy with it, whatever. So yeah, that is what I have been doing for the past four days of my life. And I just really enjoyed this process and I hope to give you guys more revamp videos. So that is it. <sighs> so that is the so, saying goodbye to the people that are watching me. Take two. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching and reaching until the end of the video. Please do leave leave live for this kind of the I seriously need water. Saying goodbye to the people that are watching me take three So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in until the end um, I hope that you leave a thumbs up so that I know that you guys love um, Fudge brain block
So guys, thank you so much for watching and reaching until the end of the video. And please do leave a thumbs up if you guys like this type of videos, DIY videos, just for me to know so that I would keep making content like this. And of course, don't forget to follow me in all of my social media accounts on Instagram. That's where I post all of my life and my fake life actually. I'm just kidding. But you know, Instagram, it's not all about, it's not all real. Mm -hmm. But anyways, don't forget to follow me in my Instagram because I post all of my, um, all of my what? All of my outfits there. If you want some inspo, of course, you can just go to my Instagram. What? It's like I'm begging. Anyways, again, don't forget to follow me in all of my social media accounts, my Instagram, my TikTok. Yes, your girl is doing TikTok now. Yes, and of course my Twitter, I mostly do like inspirational quotes there or more like um, I share ko kung ano na realize ko, like just expressing myself uh, with God's word. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to Be Charified.